Okay guys, happy Friday. So, my live wanted to act crazy. So now I have to record a video and post it. I guess Jesus is trying to tell me that I need to do that because I did say that I needed to post a video before the end of February or sometime in the month of February. And February only has two more days. So, right, I get what I asked for. Anyways, um, so happy Friday. It is Financial Friday. It is Friday, February 26, 2001. And I am headed to Grand Forks. My son has a hockey game. And so we decided to go a little bit early so that I could, so that I could get some grocery shopping done. Um, a lot of you are, I guess, kind of curious or say that aren't able to budget um, your grocery bill because you have this many kids and you know how, how do you do a $200 budget for six people or how do you do a $200 budget for seven people or $150 budget for you know seven people um, it kind of just all ties into what you like to eat or what you eat per se I know some people have dietary restrictions and so certain things you're not allowed to have but you just have to search a little harder um, I don't always meet my grocery budget. I just don't. Uh, I try to. Um, we have a one-year-old now that actually eats regular food, so you know it's not just I'm not just exclusively breastfeeding anymore. So it is a little bit harder, but I think I found a way to cut corners, um, healthy corners at that. So. What we have decided to do is go to Walmart and grab some rotisserie chickens, okay? Y'all call it what you want it. Y'all call it how you see it or, or whatever. Don't don't come for me. But people are like, oh, it's Corona. You know, other people are preparing your food. Yep, but let's think about this. Do you eat out? Other people are preparing your food then too. So, on another note, um, we have decided to do the rotisserie chickens. Now, I am not eating meat right now, so this will this will only apply for six out of the seven people in my family household. And the goal is to cut the budget as drastically as possible, right? You, you're trying to get out of debt for some of us. Some of us may already be out of debt, but you still want to maintain a budget, and that is very um, healthy. And, you know, who's going to blame you? you're trying to better yourself and your family and your circumstances so today i am going to try my best um to pick up seven rotisserie chickens i know that sounds crazy but it's one for each day and it's really only for dinner and i believe they are four dollars and fifty cents um i'm not sure if they're going to have seven from my understanding i think my walmart is going to be shut down a couple of days for stocking purposes is what I've been told. I'm not sure. But I'm not going to wait and find out either. But they also do not have the deli section open right now. So even if I wanted to get a real test for chicken, I cannot. So we are headed to Grand Forks. And I'm going to attempt to get seven. Or get whatever they have out. Or go in there, get what they have, leave, and, and see if they have some cooking and come back and buy some more. I know that sounds ridiculous. But you got to do what you got to do, right? They're $4.50. That's just for the regular size. But for the family size, I believe they do traditional and butter. But well, we don't do butter. And I don't know if the traditional one is that much bigger than the traditional regular. So I normally just stick with $4.50. Now, if they prepare them today and nobody buys them by the end of their shift or by the end of the night, they normally switch it over to the coal section and they will slash the price on it because nobody bought it. So instead of $4.50, the lowest that I have seen it, this is when we were in Texas, was $2.37. So let's think about this, guys. For seven days at $2.37, we'll just round it up for tax purposes, $2.50. So for two days, that's $5. For four days, that's 
for six days that's 15 so you're looking at 1750 if i'm not mistaken that's just your meat for dinner 1750 i don't think that's a bad deal i think that's really awesome because when you go to the chicken section and, and I, i'm not cleaning chicken i'm sorry I, the smell of it now just i don't know if it's because of the kids it, it just made the chemicals in my body change it just stinks all meat stinks to me i don't know why but i don't want to clean it and when i say clean it i mean cold water salt and vinegar i scrub it a little bit like we scrub it with a knife try to get all the extra excess off i don't one i don't have time for that um now i cannot tell you if walmart does all that or, or how they do it but i'm gonna just pray to jesus okay so um so that's what we're gonna do i mean worst case scenario if i have to pay full price which is four dollars and fifty cents i believe it's right around 34 dollars and some change if i'm not mistaken either 31 or 34 dollars and some changes right around there. i still don't think that's bad if you're on a say even a 150 dollar budget for the week because you have your meat covered for for that if you go and you pick up your veggies now, I know some people do organic, some people don't. Some people do the open, the, the produce that's fresh produce. Some people do frozen. Well, I'm just going to tell you, on the frozen produce side, you can get broccoli for a dollar. Um, I think it's like a dollar ninety nine when you do the family pack, if I'm not mistaken. And that's one, you know, that covers you technically for, um, I don't want to say one meal, but you can throw that into one of your dinner meals. So you can get all your veggies, try to, you know, keep that low, like under um, $3 or under, um, or if you can get it for a dollar, awesome. Some people like canned veggies. There's nothing wrong with canned veggies. Just know that in the can, the sodium that they use, I don't, I don't know if it's a preservative, but your sodium content, it's a lot higher because it's sitting in that salt. So you would have to rinse your veggies with water and rinse them a few times to get at least it takes away i believe half the salt um i try not to do canned veggies and the one reason we have done it but the one reason i don't do it is because i find that it sits longer and two it's too much weight because we live in our fifth wheel i'm trying to make sure that we um disperse i guess the weight evenly throughout the camper and just cans are very heavy now we do have some canned things in our camper and but I, I have been trying to use them efficiently and as fast as possible so that i can create storage room for something else down there i don't know if it's going to work but we're attempting it where you see that at like it's nice If he comes, he comes. Ain't nothing I can do about it right now. Just hope and pray. My life is right. That's all you can do, right? So, then if you're more of a fresh person, um, with that, you can, if you have an Aldi near you, I know that their produce is um, pretty fresh. And their prices are a little bit lower than Walmart, just depending on what you grab. Now, also, another place to check is Lidl, if you have a Lidl by you. I'm just going to tell you that Lidl is my go-to when we are around a Lidl. I'll go to Aldi, but I love Lidl. So you can get some, some things there too. Like their bread, I believe between Aldi and Lidl, you can get a loaf of bread for, um, I think it was like 89 cents. Now, mind you, this is probably right after corona hits it was still about that price i don't know what it is now i haven't been to a little in a, in a in a while i want to say a very long time but in a while so anybody who is close to a little if you are willing to check those prices for me and if you wanted to comment in the video you're more than welcome to i am not saying that i am the know all be all i do not i am just putting this content out there for someone who needs help and it's financial fridays and i would you know i just want to help people to be able to cut their budget to use their money to either pay something off or to save up for something that they really need 
Um, the whole goal is to be debt free. That is what um, my financial Fridays are about, including myself. I am not debt free. I am going to be upfront with you. I'm not going to lie to you that we are debt free because we are not. I repeat, we are not. Just in case somebody wanted to say that I said I was, I am not. I am, we are striving towards that goal and, you know, I'm not perfect. Nobody is, but you do the best you can with with what you know. So, um, and this kind of holds me accountable to do what I need to do. So, like, for instance, today, where we live, um, normally how I go about it is... I go to Walmart and I normally will go on a Thursday before payday and I will buy say four paper towel rolls and I normally get the Walmart paper towel rolls because guess what ding 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 they're only 50 cents so if you buy a pack of six you are only spending three dollars for six uh, I'm sorry I'm not paying twelve dollars for um, paper towels I don't buy bounty paper towels one I have five kids and my little people like to pull off the paper towels. I feel like that is a waste of money. So right now, we're rolling with 50 cents. People can say, well, oh, well, what about the 50 cents? What if they go through a whole roll? Okay, well, they go through a whole roll. But guess what? If I have to replace that one roll, it's only 50 cents. It's not like $2 or $3 like Bounty is. Like, I mean, that's just ridiculous. I, I can't do it. So that's why I cut some of my costs. And since I'm not near my bank, my bank is an hour away, I will go. And I will purchase four paper towel rolls. And I will, um, and if it's something else that I need that's very small, I will purchase it then too. But I've, I have tried, and this last couple of months I have failed, but I've tried to just get paper towels and it does not always work out that way because I'm always in need of something. So I'm really, really, really attempting for March that we're going to do this budget right. So four paper towel rolls and I swipe them individually and then I take out $100. So therefore... I would have spent, um, I would have taken out $400 and I would have spent $2 on paper towels. I do not like going to the ATM because the ATM charges you their fee plus your bank fee. So I'm looking at it like, why would I pay the bank? Why would I pay the ATM to give me money when I can use that money to get something that I need? So we don't do the ATM unless it's our bank ATM. Okay, guys, or it's an affiliate that does not charge us for our ATM, which I really don't use the ATM. Um, in Grand Forks, my bank is in Grand Forks. I'm debating if I want to stop today and get money back. I mean, I can definitely go through the drive through and do it, and that's all fine, will and dandy. So we shall see. I had a couple of things that I needed to get, so my main goal is to, to run in, run out, get what I need to get, and um, be on our way. So the chicken, the paper towels. Now Aldi has a pretty good deal. I believe it's Aldi and Lidl. Normally their paper towels, I believe are like $3.99 for eight or something like that. So if I'm there, I will snag those. But I really do try to snag the 50 cent ones because I feel it's, that's the best thing for my buck. Um, also, I'm trying to think of what else I normally get. So we've been stocking up on frozen vegetables. Um, so for, I used to get the bell peppers that were the red, the orange, and the yellow in a bag. And I think it's like 330 or 340. Sorry guys, somebody didn't put their turn signal on. So it's like 330 or 340. 337 something like that well i can get a bag of peppers of red peppers green peppers and onions for 233 in the frozen section that's how i make my cashew cheese and so i have not really been getting the other veggies which right now is fine you can't be picky and choosy like i said we're in the middle of a pandemic still i don't even know if we're still in the beginning phase the middle phase or the end phase um, I just know that we've been at it for almost a year phase. <laughs> so, um, the bread at Walmart, if you cannot make it to the Lidl, if you do um, whole grain bread at our Walmart, and guys, the price that I'm giving you is the Walmart that I'm at, so they may vary just a little bit. It might be slightly more, it might be slightly less. Just double check. It's 133 
I'll pay $1.33 for a loaf of bread. Not a problem. Because I'm not going to Aldi, which for me is in Fargo, which is two hours away, unless I'm going to do a huge haul. It has to be worth it. So, with that, um, I'll get bread from there. Now, I mean, people say, oh, I make my own cashew milk. Uh, cashew milk, some people say, oh, that's more expensive. And when you really break it down, if you do the measurements right, it equals about the same, if not less, than what you would buy from the store. Now, here's the kicker. At least you know what's in it. Okay? You know what's in it. It's no extra stuff. Yes, you have to drink it within, I think, five days. But it doesn't even last two days in my house. So, I don't even worry about it. I try to make a lot more stuff. So, chia seed pudding, we make that. Um, that's actually a pretty cheap meal especially if you just grab a fruit to go with it or just eat it as is there's a pretty cheap um like pudding replacement in a sense we were buying and i do splurge a little bit still we were buying so delicious uh, yogurt but just for one little round container it is a dollar and 49 cents if I buy the tub, it's like five or six dollars, and we only get to use it once, which is about what I pay for the little round containers. And I just, I mean, sometimes it's worth it, I guess, sometimes it's not. It just depends on, you know, some days I'm just like, okay, the kids can grab it, it's a grab and go type thing, and at least I have a snack for them. So you have to just take your judgment, your better judgment on it. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna just cap it off with that. I don't want to like fully overload you all with things to purchase or you know things you can change because change takes time and sometimes some people do better with change a little bit at a time. So I don't want to like overload you and overwhelm you and you be like, oh my god, I gotta change all this stuff. No, you don't. You can um you can gladly eat and buy whatever you like. I am just here to give you the knowledge um, to tell you what we do you do not have to do what we do you can take a little bit of what we do you can take none of what we do you can take all of what we do it is totally up to you I'm just here to supply you with what I've learned over the last few years that we have been doing this it's been actually several years that we've been doing this um, journey and I'm at the point now I want to put an end to this journey and have another journey being debt free so yes so we are um and honestly right now i'll add in one more thing we drink a lot of water um we don't really buy soda so that's an added expense that's cut out and if that's something you want to try by all means go for it i look at it like this um you know if you're buying pop or soda whichever one you call it we're in the midwest they call it pop if you are buying that just think about i mean i think i see a 12 pack the other day for five dollars and actually i believe that was an aldi five dollars and if you're buying one case a week that's 20 bucks let's think about it guys 20 bucks that you could be using that 20 bucks to either pay off a credit card or you know put towards your actual grocery bill however you see fit um you know just think about it that's five that's twenty dollars a month and 20 times 12 is what I'm just saying 10 times 12 is right 120 so times 2 240 for pop uh, a year I mean if you have a credit card bill that's 240 you could probably get it gone I'm just saying okay I'm not the know all be y'all and if my math is incorrect just let me know I have never been the type of person that can actually do it in my head like that I've always written it down and had to do it step by step so don't come for me okay um so yeah that was just another little quick tidbit next Friday when um you all join me again hopefully it'll be on a live if, if not then guess what we'll post content again I mean I just have to get good at it we'll post content and it will still be Financial Fridays. We are introducing um, new on Mondays. It will be Military Mondays. So I'm getting a little bit excited about that. It, it may not be more than 10 minutes, but you know, 
I was thinking about it. If I post every Monday in a, in a month, it's about four Mondays. You know, that's 40 minutes and that's four videos. So um, I'm increasing my content. Um, I want to help whoever I can help the best way that I can help them. I'm not an expert by any means. It's just life experiences. You take it as it is. Um, so I'm not at all saying I'm a financial advisor. I am not. But this is just, like I said, the journey we've been on. We just want to share it with you all. And hopefully it can help somebody who right now is struggling or just needs a little help. Maybe not even struggling, but just like, man, just just needs a breather. So we're introducing, um, yes, on Monday, which is March 1st, um, Military Mondays. I will go more in depth on that on Monday whether I am live or I do a pre-recorded video um, it will be posted sometime guys I, I don't really have a set schedule things get chaotic within a second in my household with five kids and a husband and a partridge and a pear tree no, I'm just joking um, but yeah it gets really chaotic um, good chaotic sometimes frustrating chaotic but hey it's like you roll with the punches right so I just um wanted to get on here to to supply you with this and i hope it helps somebody and until next friday y'all enjoy your weekend be blessed remember to love one another remember to um just be kind like it doesn't hurt to be kind it doesn't hurt to smile it doesn't hurt to give someone a compliment so you know just you know incorporate that you know once a month once a week you know once a day and um, you'll go far so thanks for listening watching remember to like subscribe comment and share